uh, a truck company went into a coffee roaster because the hipsters took over Brooklyn, right? So, uh, and um, did. the truck company went in there with their, their CO meter and in this coffee roaster, 300 parts per million, right? So, and we did a podcast on this because it was so ridiculous. I think I remember, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like one of these things we didn't even know we didn't even know. So uh, we went in there and what do you do if your meter starts showing something, you get a second meter to check it out. Okay, they did that. Then they call in Hazmat and we come in there and we bring out eight meters. And all eight meters are going off. So at this point, you know, you got to look for the product's combustion. We do our secondaries. We turn off everything. But before we even turn on anything, we close the doors and it goes right back up to 300. So we do a secondary. We look around for maybe somebody's hibachi cooking in the basement or, you know, a steam jenny's running it. Nothing. So at this point, what do you do? You feed it into the Googler. Why the hell am I having carbon monoxide? And it's like, oh, everybody knows about this. Coffee roasters, when you partially, when you partially burn an organic molecule, you make mm -hmm. carbon monoxide, but a coffee bean locks it. So like, no way. I've heard a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard this one. So we go back to the firehouse, we open up the coffee grinder, and we stick a CO meter, and it goes berserk. Wow. <laughs> really? So what I'm saying is, if wow. you want a low to no cost brain scratcher kind of thing, just grab your little coffee packet at the volley house, pop it open, put your CO, and have them explain why. Wow. 